Hello everyone, it's the Truly Outrageous Doll Collector here, and today we have yet another package, so I cannot wait to open this. And yeah, we uh, got this from someone we normally buy from, and I cannot wait to open it. So let's just take our knife and uh, let's just get right to it. And here, of course, we have our swag doll, which we'll get a proper view in a moment. So as you see, we just uh, made an oopsie <laughs> with that, but we'll take a closer look at swag here because this is our third wave one with its original box with the other two there to Welcome the occasion. So here we have Swag herself. And I've been waiting for her for a while. And I love these dreads. These like mini, mini braids. Whatever you want to call them. Like, ugh. Glorious. Gorgeous even. Like, wow. Look at that. And even it says, uh, it says LOL OMG. And it's like, broken down there that's so cool and these little uh these little uh breakout pants or whatever you want to call them like wow i even had a pair of these when i was a kid strange enough <laughs> anywho so there's swag and then we'll see what kind of stuff's in here so we have this one i don't know why it's all taped up like this but i think this yeah i think this is swag's and there's all this weird tape going around it. Like, I guess they thought this could make a good base or good lid for the hat box, maybe? I don't know. But uh, we're going to snip that off in a moment. Then we have one of her shoes. And we have her hat box. And we, I did see the lid somewhere. And here's another one the shoes. And here's her comb. And yeah, uh, so yeah, these are uh, suede shoes. They look like uh, Timberlands with, uh, oh, look at that. Even the mirror hasn't been peeled. Oh, that's, or has it? I don't think it has, but so that's really cool. Um, but yeah, so then there's her little sister. But yeah, so let us uh, carefully there we go. Close the box. And then we'll take a look at what else is inside uh, our package, because there's more than just uh, more than just her. But so in here we have there's the bottom of the hat box. We have her bag. So I actually have this oriented upside down because the camera is lower and it's easier that way. So I'm trying to get used to it. <laughs> but Anywho, so here is that, because the lens is usually up here, but now it's down here, so I'm trying to get used to that, my apologies. Uh, but yeah, so there's that, and then here's the hat box. So I'll see if I can grab the lid from a different area. Um, let me see if it's still in the box somewhere, because, you know. And then uh, this next one here. Set that to the side. So in here, oh, okay, okay. Here we actually have a Skipper doll with a uh, Making Waves maxi dress. Well, swimsuit. It's so now one of my uh, one of my. Uh, Crimped hair maxis will have her proper bathing suit. And this one has seen some damage, unfortunately, but it's not too bad. I've seen worse. But I do love this era of Skipper the most. Like, she's just very tomboyish. She's very, like, you know, very. I don't know. Tomboyish is the only real thing I can come up with at the moment. But yeah, she's very pretty. And I've always loved this era of Skipper. Anywho, moving on. Uh, we do have this 
uh, Color Splash Pocahontas is what I'm going to call her because I think that's her actual name, but she does have her original outfit and everything, and that makeup is gorgeous. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, again, I already have like a bajillion of her. Uh, there's the colors in her hair that can change, and just, I have at least like five or six of her. <laughs> it's just, oh, I love the Pocahontas dolls so much, and like, I feel like, yeah, maybe this was the original body, because, like, I don't know, this feels a little weird. I guess maybe that was what the Mackie bodies were on, or were used, but anywho, but there she is. And then moving on to the next one, we have this doll here, of which it's, oh my goodness, look, another Pogonis. This one's a Sun Colors. And again, this is probably like my 10th or 12th one. <laughs> and she's definitely uh, losing a lot of the shine, especially in the bottom half, unfortunately. Plus the bottom has actually, no, no it's not. Oh, whew. I thought it was actually snipped. No, it's just very badly curled, but she's still very pretty. Yeah, I guess those are the proper ones. And her legs still bend and just, oh. She's absolutely beautiful. I love, 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 love her. Um, and then in here, <laughs> uh, so this one is missing her hands and whatever, so I don't even know why I got this one. Maybe just because I saw OMG and I knew I had to get her. Um, here is the lid to the shoebox, so that's good. And I did not see a lid for the hat box, unfortunately, but I might find one later on. But, yeah, so this, I believe, is Honeylicious. I could be wrong. Um, and here's some shoes that I think do not go to her, but I do have a pair of these shoes. So I did identify it before, but I just don't remember at the moment. But she's still very pretty, and I cannot wait to actually get the doll, like, more complete and whatnot. I believe these are her undies, but they just got stuck in her thigh, <laughs> I guess. Um, so we're going to have to uh, retrieve that <laughs> later. But yeah, so I'm just glad to finally have my dolls uh, shipped out and returned. Well, not returned, but, you know, brought to me, especially for this maxi uh, outfit. And I can try to find a, a fashion pack for Skipper, so... But yeah, more Pocahontas dolls, but Swag is definitely the the cream of the crop here. She's definitely going to be the easiest to wash because it's literally just uh, just squeezing the soap out from there if I were to wash her. Um, but we'll see. I may at the very least rinse out the clothes real quick, but overall she's in very good shape. And the only thing she seems missing... Uh, the only thing she's missing right off the bat that I know of are her earrings, her undershirt, her understuff, like like her, you know, her leotard, uh, her sunglasses, of which the latter two I do have, actually, so that's good. But she's missing her earrings, uh, which I do not have. The earrings and the hat lid I do not have. But... Otherwise, I think she'll be complete. I think that's the only other thing I'll need other than the, like, the the trinky stuff, like the um, clothes hangers or whatever. So, which I could really care less about, to be fully honest. But just to have swag in my collection, I now have the entire first wave of LOL OMG uh, near complete. I think, I think Neon Delicious is still missing a couple things aside from the trinky stuff, but... I have to double check, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad to, to own her now. And yeah, i like to thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for awesome content. And uh, yeah, uh, until next time, stay outrageous. Bye-bye.